more than ever before the need to love the urgency of loving and they need seriously bear the fruit of love out there in our world and in our society has become more necessary than this ever. is because our world has more than ever before has become troubled what therefore are really the issues disobedience and indifference to the law of the Lord that he has given to us which is the law of love or human's inability to simply obey and hack into this law in the first reading of the 15th Sunday in ordinary time which we celebrate today we read from the book of Deuteronomy that is the book of the law that God gave to the Israelites Deuteronomy chapter 30 from verse 10 through to 14 and Moses reminded the people of the fact that this law is not so burdensome that they can not carry and that brings to us the message of the fact that this law of the, of the Lord the law of love comes with its demands but even God himself knows that they are not too huge and not too heavy in the second reading St. Paul writing to the Colossians reminds us of the visible presence of Christ as reflecting you know the nature of God that has decided to come dwell amongst men that is to say in the opening sentence of the second reading St. Paul says Christ Jesus is the image of the unseen God it means Christ is the sacrament of the unseen God and very importantly a visible expression of the invisible God and this visibility of Christ is for a purpose that is to make God known to make himself known and saturate the world permeate the world with the works of love in the gospel text we read from the gospel of st. Luke from chapter 10 through verse 25 then reading through to 37 of course we see the experience of Jesus with the man who came reminding him of what he needs to do in order to be saved and Jesus simply told him sisters and love Jesus is the image of the unseen God. Lesson number one. From our very penny catechism, we hear of what we understand as a sacrament, as the outward expression of the inward graces ordained by Jesus himself by which we receive grace. Of very serious interest here is the outward expression, outward sign of inward grace meaning that Jesus himself becomes the physical expression, the visible expression of the invisible God. And this is for a purpose. Recall the text of John's Gospel, chapter 1, verse 14. The Word became flesh for a purpose, which again, John chapter 3, verse 16 reminds us that God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him will have redemption, will have salvation. The world is in need of serious and urgent salvation at different sectors in different phases. And here is the call to each and every one of us to make this love of God manifest. Visiting the sick, comforting the troubled hearted, the sorrowful, walking the walk of love, becoming very actively involved when you can in political participation, and of course, working for the common good of the society, all of these become on us. And each and every one of us can open up our hearts truly to embrace this law of love. We cannot claim and say that we love God if we do not work for the good of others around us, if we do not love others around us, if we do not sow the seeds of love. The fundamental belief of the people is that they love God and they love their neighbor and this defines the two kinds of relationship the vertical relationship and the horizontal relationship that the vertical relationship which translates to their personal affection their personal love for God translates more into the love that they have for neighbor and that is why scripture enjoins us that no one can say he or she loves God yet is not at peace and does not love the neighbor whom he sees. Jesus has given us this law to refine its meaning in our lives and in order for us to embrace it and make a greater difference in our world. I bless you. I may his words continue to find a home in your heart. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.